Here's a quick tip when you're dealing with complex sketches. In a lot of cases you create really complex sketches and you end up trimming all kinds of geometry away and then you're required to go back in, add additional constraints or dimensions so that it stays constrained so you can easily make changes and update it. Rather than doing that, what I suggest you do is leave all that geometry there, turn it to construction, and then trace over top of it. Just make sure that all your constraints are on and working properly, such as tangencies and endpoints or midpoints, whatever you happen to be doing. In this case, I'm placing a series of arcs over top of these construction profiles. When I do this, this ensures that the geometry that I'm creating stays connected to that original construction geometry. This way, when I make changes down the road to this one inch dimension, I can very easily update all of that geometry.